there it's recording okay <clears throat> since since we're going to be rotating the engine we're going to make sure it's safe to rotate and won't fire so we either take all the ignition leads off take the distributor cap off pull a spark plug from every cylinder or we can simply make sure that the mags are grounded by going from the P-lead on each magneto to a ground. And so we're going to do that on both magnetos. So the other magneto P-lead is down here underneath. So both mags are grounded with the jumper wires. So now it is safe to rotate the engine and so that's what we want to do there now that it's safe now we're going to uh, remove the ignition wire ignition lead from that plug since we're only doing that plug and we're going to do that so we want to be sure not to rotate this lead. So to do that, we're going to put a wrench and, uh, on there. Uh -huh. And then we're going to use a wrench to loosen this. Okay. And once that's loose, then I'm going to just make sure that lead doesn't rotate because this is fragile here. And if we rotate it, we wind up breaking the lead okay. or the shielding. So now the lead is out. Now we're going to take spark plug. The spark plug out. Okay. Okay. Spark plug is uh, loose. Spark plug comes out. Mm -hmm. spark plug in something to hold it. This is number two cylinder and it's the top so I'm going to put it in number two cylinder top. Okay. Just by way of keeping track of them because if we're doing all the cylinders we're going to pull it all out. Right. Yep. So now we can rotate the engine. I'm going to find top dead center. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hold my finger in here. As I rotate the engine against the other, okay, plug it up pretty tight so you can feel it. Let me, yeah. Okay, still not mm -hmm. there. There. Yeah. There. Someplace there is top dead center. I'm going to stick my little finger in there so I can feel the piston and move it this prop back and forth. That is now top dead center. Right about there is top dead center. So now I'm going to put this adapter in. Spark plug adapter. Spark plug adapter. It's got an O-ring on it so it seals pretty easily. I'm going to tighten it down just a little bit, but it doesn't have to be real tight. I'm not even going to put a wrench on it. I'm just going to use that to hold it. Now, I'm going to get the, spark, the uh, compression tester and an airline. Here. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to set this, make sure this is set back to zero. 
I want this valve open all the time. I don't ever close this valve. Okay. That I just never, never close that valve. There's no reason to close it. Connect the air supply and make sure that this gauge is set to zero. Both gauges? Well, this is the only gauge that matters right now. Okay. You want it set to zero. Okay. Uh, so, and it is, because if this is up, see there, it's gone up, okay. see it's up. Okay. You want it set to zero. Because you don't, when you connect this to the, to this, mm -hmm. you don't want any pressure in the cylinder because you don't want the pressure there until you're ready for the pressure. So now that gets connected. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna bring this one up to? 20. 20. And the 20 is only so we can start to feel the pressure. The where the where the piston is. So we want it so we can feel there, we can put this on. I'm moving it back and forth a little bit. Because I want this on top dead center. And I can feel where it is. This is of course the other way. This is goes the other way. But right there. Top dead center. Yes, right about there is top dead center. No. Here. Right there. Is that it? Okay. So that's top dead center. Okay. Now, knowing that that's top dead center, right there, what I'm going to do is get a good. Uh, photo view on that or a good view there we go now I'm going to stay out of the prop arc and I'm going to crank this up to 80 okay. if it's not on top dead center it'll rotate and you could get hurt so there it is so that's this gauge is on 80 this gauge is on 70 so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate I'm going to just move this back and forth a little bit. Not a, well, that's a little too far. I'm going to move this back and forth a little bit to try to make sure the rings are seated. It's on top dead center. This one's still at 80. This one now is reading just over 70. Fine. No, just over 71 because yeah, 60, 70. 80. Yeah. It's really reading about 70. So my compression this on this cylinder 70. is 70 over 80. Okay. And then I go to the manufacturer's information to determine whether this is satisfactory or not. For specific engine. For the specific, well, Lycoming is general. They, they have all Lycoming engines. They have the same standard for all Lycoming engines. So. Okay. So now that I have the compression on that cylinder, I'm going to relieve this pressure because that makes this propeller safe. Mm -hmm. Now it won't move. Yes. But if I'm going to put this back up to 80, oh, now. But by the way, okay, no, we're just going to leave it here, okay? One of the things you can do, you can listen at the, at the, uh, let me see, you can listen, I'm going to pull the camera off, because I'm going to edit some of this out. You can listen at the air inlet, you stay out of the prop arc because we've got pressure on there. This is the air inlet to the engine. Mm -hmm. if, you have an, if you have an intake valve leak, you'll be able to hear hissing from here. If you have a... Uh, so there's a leak now. Well, there's a leak because we don't have 80 over 80. A cylinder yes. will never yes. be perfect. Okay. So, so where's the leak coming from? If it's coming from here, that's an intake valve. If it's stay out of the prop arc, and I, we're going to walk around.
if you hear it coming from the exhaust. Yes, leak in the exhaust. Well, you can you listen sorta. There's not there's not a leak coming from the exhaust, not anything significant. Yes, nothing. So okay, so let's walk around again. There's one other place where the leak can be happening. And I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna put my ear here to this intake. I don't really hear anything coming from there. The other place what is the sound no from is the breather. The okay. crankcase breather. If it's coming past the rings, okay. then it's going to be coming from the crankcase breather, okay. which is this hose on this engine down here. And we come down here. Ah, hear that? You can hear it. You can probably feel a little bit of it. So what we have is is what is the leak that's in the cylinder is past the rings. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So our valves are good, our intake leak is the rings, the intake valve is good, exhaust valve is good, our leak is occurring in with the rings, and, uh, and 70 over 80 is a normal reading. Okay. So this cylinder really, this cylinder does pass. Pass? It passes, yeah. it's, it's a good cylinder. Okay. So we because can look at- it's past 70? Yes. If it's, well, we can look at the documentation that Lycoming gives. Okay. Uh, so, so we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a little, in a, in a little bit. Okay, cool. So, okay, so now we have to make, oh, now it is not safe. Mm -hmm. What I want to show is what happens. Okay. So here it is. We got 80 pounds of pressure in the cylinder. I'm just going to bump the prop. We'll just stay out of the way of it because I want. Because so this is what you don't want to happen when you don't want, when you don't expect it. Okay. It 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 spins enough to. Uh, anyway. It's one. It's one not rotate more than that. It usually won't rotate more than that. No. Okay. Because there is one cylinder just one. It's just one cylinder. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll rotate till that cylinder, well, it depends which way you move it. If you move it this way, the way it moved, it was in the direction of rotation. Uh -huh. So the next thing that happens is the exhaust valve opens. Okay. So that puff you heard was the exhaust valve opening. Okay. If you would have taken it the other way, it would have been the intake valve opening. So uh, anyway, okay. So there's, there is uh, that. Now we have to... To uh, take everything and put it back. Mm -hmm. So I'm, this is set to zero. I'm going to disconnect that. This gets disconnected. We're done with the air. Mm -hmm. We're done with all this. I'm going to take this out. The adapter comes out. Spark plug goes in. We've done uh, so the spark plug. We've inspected the spark plug. We put a new gasket on it. We put anti seize on the spark plug, on not the first thread but the second thread. We put anti seize on it. We're going to put it into the cylinder. We expect it. Sh you should be able to turn this in finger tight. If you can, if you need to clean the threads. So there it is, finger tight. We looked up the specs on it, and it goes into 35 foot-pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take our torque wrench, and we're going to set it to 35. And we'll Let me come over here, maybe, and see. I'm going to set it to 35. So there's, there's the 30. I'll put a detail of this. 30, 35, okay, that's 30. So the zero line with the, with the middle line here? 
Yeah, so that 35, that line right there shows us with this zero, we're set on 35. So that would be 36. That would be 34. So that's 35. Okay. So that's set for 35. Then we lock it so it won't, doesn't rotate when we spin it. Okay. And then we come up here, hook type wrench. Mm -hmm. So a nice uniform pull. Uh, let me make sure that this is, yep, that's pretty good. All right, a nice uniform pull. I'm listening for the wrench to click. That's when I know it's tight. Hear that? Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. 35 foot pounds of torque. Now, before I'm done with the torque wrench, I relieve it, take the pressure off the spring till it's free to move. It's, you can tell when the spring releases. The torque wrench is ready to put away. Now, it's time to put the ignition lead back on. The same, the same it's, way that It's we the use. same way. Okay. So, So once again, I, I want to be sure that I don't rotate this so it's all clean. We put it in. Rotate by hand first. Just to make sure that this doesn't rotate, I'm going to hold it with a wrench. Okay. I'm going to tighten this down, finger tight. Till it, it bottoms out. Once it bottoms out, finger tight. Then I'm going to tighten it an additional eighth of a turn. So a quarter of a turn would put the wrench up here. <clears throat> so an eighth of a turn is this is is half of a quarter. So an eighth of a turn goes to right there. It's it. And the other the one last thing that's left is to. Uh, we're done working on the engine, done rotating it, so now these jumper wires can come off. And uh, the engine is back to where it was, and we've done the compression check.